While it is true that most kids from 5 to 11 do fine with COVID, it is not true that all kids do fine with COVID. Low risk is not no risk. One issue is that some children actually do get pretty sick. And so I think particularly with this second wave, with the Delta variant, we have seen more children admitted. I've seen kids in the ICU with COVID. I've seen a five-year-old on a ventilator, and that was really hard for me because I have a five-year-old or an almost five-year-old. I've seen kids, you know, with problems with learning, with memory, with cognition after suffering from severe COVID. It's no joke what COVID can do to children. And I, I get it. It's not every child, right? And thank goodness it's not. It is a minority of kids, but we cannot predict which child is gonna have that bad outcome and which child is gonna sail through COVID with no problem. We just can't predict it. The other thing that's really important is that we have families and we have parents and grandparents and extended family members and community members who may not be able to fight COVID as well. And our children are very much a part of their lives. And so by protecting our children, we are also protecting the rest of our community. I am getting my daughter vaccinated because it is what is in her best interest. I do not know if she would have severe outcomes from COVID, but it's a risk I'm not willing to take with her help. My son is 10 years old. He is in the fifth grade and he is very social and active and he will absolutely be one of the first in line to get his COVID vaccine. We have this amazing, safe tool to protect our children. We should all be using it.